Secret uh, coming into this series, knowing what you have did so far in the DPC, they need to shake it off. On the other side, into the breach, coming up from Div 2. They they have some uh, leverage here, I would say. And uh, looking at the, the draft from them, having sp I'm a little surprised that we have Train Protector and Lina. Uh, Lina was... Uh, left in the pool so far into the draft and this is lena plus train protector we've seen what these two heroes can do it's going to be more about the execution into the breach however having specter this is a build that uh, skeeter kind of pioneered uh, tundra always pioneers things uh, having extra mangoes uh, she has 11 per second regeneration under the tier 2 tower. It's going to be less, of course, but you're going to bring Tangos. I uh, get that blade mail. Good matchup against Lina. Usually gets banned out. Uh, I've been really impressed by Supreme. Uh, he had a bit of a rough time, I would say, uh, when he was in Alliance, uh, but he stepped up. Both him and Jibe. I want to see how this mid matchup is going to go because I've seen this matchup where Batrider, not going to say dominate, but has an upper hand where you do have put points in Flame Break instead of the Firefly. It's a good adjustment. I want to see what Supreme's going to do with it. I'm interested to see what uh, Crystalis does with that Lina, too. Like you said, it got late into the draft when that got picked up. I don't believe Crystalis has one game with the Lina, but I mean, we've seen this hero all the time. The fact that it made it to the second phase was insane. I, I, I want to say this is always a hero to kind of get your your like momentum back as a player, right? Like this feels like a 80% win chance. We've seen Lina being beaten, like even in the previous series. So maybe that's why, boom, a bit of a different starting item. So you are playing against the Batrider. So getting the magic stick, uh, I don't know if he wants to get the bottle like straight away, more like uh, boots of speed, I think uh, in this matchup to be able to run away. And you can see Supreme putting in uh, pressure using that uh, sticking up bomb relatively early on. We've also seen Batriders not picking up any points whatsoever, having like three points and Sticky and just saving it. So first blood here for Puppy on Immersion, and this is his Grandmaster hero. I always expect a lot here from Immersion when he's playing on that Earth Spirit is uh, an early kill for for Secret it can certainly open up That was a solo kill. Okay. <laughs> Poppy chatting it up with the Boots of Speed on tree and ran him down. I mean, Immersion also does have a Boots of Speed for himself. And he did just go just Boots, and now he's brought back a Ward as well as Enchanted Mango and Tangos. So, that solo kill there for a Tree Protector. We've seen what Tree Protectors can do with a lot of farm. We just saw it in the last series. Domi had uh, more levels than the entire side of OG when he played that tree in the last one. So maybe Puppy can kind of get off to a good start to get in that similar direction. Immersion bought Boots of Speed so he can drag the Creep Wave. Puppy gets kicked. So he's going to do the full full circle. Puppy already knows, so he's <laughs> going to chase him down. And he's hoping to get there, but he's going to eat a lot of damage for this because Puppy's also got those Boots of Speed, and he'll come over to pick up a Water Rune too. Or maybe, uh, yeah, he's going to pick it up because Supreme, he's going to fill up his bottle. Not going to leave it there for Boom. And we've talked about how important these runes are. Game three of the last series, it felt like OG was getting every single power rune. And when you're getting four or five double damages a game, all of a sudden, it feels like you have a massive advantage. Your chances double up for sure of winning that game. You see Supreme on a mid lane, he is saving a skill point. So you can flame break him during the swashbuckle and the shield crash if you time it perfectly. I want to see if he can find an opening here. Uh, Boom is CSing nicely, 13 and 3, uh, same as Batrider. We'll see how long that lasts for, and uh, they're, they're pretty much even. Meanwhile, you've also got this Visage for Resolution. He's getting towards the top of the CS chart, and he's here with Zayats on the uh, Snapfire. How does this lane go for Secret? Uh, good start. This uh, lane, you're really not threatened to be killed by Spectre and position 5 Rubik. So one of the reasons why Zayats, uh, sorry, Rezo can play much more aggressively. CS nicely has that raid band that we see time and time again on the off lane. Bottom lane just trading as Crystalis. He's 12 and 9. He seems to be very in need of having a secure start. We've seen a lot of times where he kind of falls behind and doesn't really know exactly where to open up the map for himself. And 
with Lina, you know, even with a, a bit of a fallen back start, you do get that Maelstrom and eventually it feels like you can farm no matter what. But getting ahead will certainly benefit Crystalis, who would like to see himself in a proper position on this carry Lina. Yeah, definitely plays better when he is ahead uh, compared to like being in the middle of the network. Getting that five first. And as I said, Supreme, we see these Batriders not skilling anything. So if he thinks he can get a kill, goes for the flame break. Uh, like one point is enough, but th there's a particular game I watched and it looked really good against Pango because you don't need to dive underneath the tower. Mm -hmm. See what he can do. Now level 5, going 3 into the Sticky Napalm. And about four and a half minutes in. We should expect rotations in at level 6. That's always seeming to be the case recently, where just try to get that first power rune secured. LSA lands on a Jive, and we'll just eat a couple of right clicks for his trouble. Well, Doom looking to go devour into you know, the Midas, and... Stick at the top of that net worth. We've seen Doom struggle though. Uh, so many games. Like I, I don't believe in this hero anymore. Uh, maybe, like during TI, pre TI, last year it looked really good, but now it just feels it's way too slow. Mm -hmm. Until you get to your item timings, uh, if you can, like if the rest of the team can play well. But this is Spectre. Uh, that means that she's not gonna come online that fast enough, and uh, having Doom. It's a very slow start, and especially if you max out Devour, if you don't go for the kill in the lane. So they've been pulling, Immersion has been pulling the this lane so many times. Constantly making a new lane for him and Jibe in this bottom lane. It is uh, been a bit awkward, and a couple of creeps will actually back up. One will get all the way back and make their own lane right there. Has this catapult falling, and... Uh, Finally, it breaks apart as well and goes back towards the lane. If we check the network, we can see that uh, Batrider's on top uh, and Lena, like Batrider was just on top, but what a chat, not even using his abilities to farm. Like this is the uh, top of the network without two abilities. And now he's gonna go. Yeah, Blitter Smash. In a flame break. There's the roll, has the lasso, and with the Firefly, just gonna burn Boom away. That's uh, a good kill there for Supreme who was now sitting firmly at the top of the net worth, and this is with a secret 1k net worth lead. Going into Boots of Travel as Bat, pretty standard brown boots into bots, uh, very close to it. This is like seven, eight minutes Boots of Travel, and then you can start being much more active on the map. I'm a little worried for this Visage, because he's having too good of a time in the lane, and Zayas has been doing a good job staying away from the XP. That means that Visage will hit relatively early level 6, and then he starts to put out the pressure. This is where O-Taker will not be able to be in the lane anymore. The constant harassment, even with the Blade Mill, uh, yeah, sure, you do reflect some damage, but the harassment is way too much. Yeah, we'll probably see Rezo hit that level 6, and I wouldn't be surprised if they push through all the way to get that Tier 1 tower immediately, because... That's the job of the Visage, right? Similar to what we saw with the Broodmother in the last game. Get to that level 6, push. Go get that tier 1 tower. Make sure the opponent's carries farming area is much smaller. Looking at the wards from Into the Breach. They have one in the river, second one on the near the mid one, and near the outpost. So they see most of the movement that's going to come out from Secret. And nobody really rotating off the mid lane yet. Both sitting level 7. And it's 4 one, one, one right now for Supreme. And he's about to have that lasso back up in 20 seconds. So having that lasso up, it's going to coincide with him getting Boots of Travel as well. Fire Snap Cookie with a Swashbuckle Scatter Blast combo. Shield Crash on at Supreme. They've also brought over Puppy, but the Telekinesis slams this Pangolier into the Dream Protector. Daro not going to be able to run away as that Swashbuckle yeah. comes in from Boom. They do secure Rune for Batrider. It's going to be region for him. Boots of Travel picked up. Needs to use the Courier, as you said. This is where he's probably going to make a move on bottom, especially if the lane's pushed in like that, where you're sitting close to a tower. The damage from Scorch are three points in it. The one flame break puts you in a tough spot. You might not even need a lasso to kill Lina. Like one connection from Earth Spirit should be enough. This is where you have to be a little bit careful if you're Crystalis. 
He's getting close, though, to that Maelstrom, so if he's able to pull off a kill, which he should, with this Laguna Blade finishing off Immersion, it's just going to push him even closer, and he's already got 1,000 gold, so 600 away from Maelstrom, and that's really the jumping off point for every Lina. Supreme tried to TP, but uh, saw that it's not going to work out. Earth Spirit's already dead. Lina is backing off, so good uh, start for Crystalis. As you said, this is gonna be 10 minute uh, Maelstrom Falcon Blade. I see no stacks in the triangle, but she can stack for herself. She can farm it up while Puppy is gonna be soaking up the experience on bottom. And now into the breach, they wanna get a kill. Rezo, very farm. This is a big kill if they can get it. Let's see if Zayats breaks the smoke. Yeah, he'll break the smoke, but now, what do they wanna go for? They'll focus their attention on a resolution, but they already gave up on Zayats. The cookie lands, and now they've got the familiars to stun up Supreme. He's getting a little bit low. You might want to be careful. Boom's coming over from the side, and they'll go through. They've got themselves the soul assumption with a swashbuckle. Supreme comes over for nothing but a death. I think, considering everything, how this was start to play out, you needed to kill Snapfire and try to get out of the out of there, because. Uh, Rotation-wise, two rotation from Team Secret, and uh, now you have Zayats on bottom, collecting some XP, which uh, he's gonna be free to do so. Boom, getting very close to his Diffusal Blade. Team Secret, hitting up uh, really early timings. Yeah, their supports should hit six at a similar time. You've got the Tome coming through for Puppy, so that'll leave him at about six, if not there. And there was Zayats soaking up that solo farm bottom. Well, now you've got Overgrowth and kick it Kisses to add to the mix, and I mean, that is everything that you want for a team fight if you're the side of Team Secret. And you can take a look at these odds already provided to you by esportsbet.io. And it, it shows that Secret are way far ahead in the field of this game. And I kind of agree. It, it seems that way with the way that they're moving around the map. Yeah, they shut down into the breach uh, early on. These, like, we haven't seen Immersion do much on his Earth Spirit. He was mostly pulling. He gave away the first blood, which uh, secured the lane for Team Secret. Uh, boom. After that one death, he is uh, almost top on the net worth. Uh, has a Diffusal Blade finished in 300 gold. And you have this super farmed Visage with the mech going into Guardian Greaves, plus Treant Protector. So that's going to be a lot of sustain coming out from them. Rezo can send the birds on Kidaro, and they will get a kill here. Yeah, he has nowhere to go. Double stun. Here comes the LSA Laguna Blade combo from Crystalis, and that's exactly what Secret wanted to do. Continue to just put the push on and keep the pressure in. This is, this is gonna be a tower. I don't yeah. see into the breach taking this fight. No reason to force Hunt defending is us. available, Blade Mail as well. I, like, this is why I talked uh, about Doom being very slow when it uh, comes down to him being active. So right now, he wants to farm up your playmaker, like, Pathfinder and Earthsprit need to do so much lifting. And hopefully they get to the, to the gym and, well, we'll see how much their PR is because they're going to really need to pick it up. It, it's tough because you're almost reliant on that lasso pretty heavily if you don't want the Spectre to join in. So your control, yeah, you've got the roll. If Ruby can get there, you've got Telekinesis, but it feels almost like a kill is almost impossible without the extra lasso, without that extra control. They need to heavily commit. They need to use these yeah. ultis to get a kill because Team Secret is being very thanky right now. Mech that we mentioned, almost full Greaves in 700 gold. Rezo, the roll is going to miss. They'll go to the haunt. They're going to try and get Resolution here. But they've also got Puppy and the Overgrowth is on it too. The Flame Break pushes Resolution back into the hands of ITB. But now Soul Assumption, Blade Mail popped on the run. Magnetize, Rezo's just tanky enough to walk away? No, they've reapplied the Magnetize, and that is what will get the kill into the Visage. So they did have to heavily commit there. They didn't go for the Lasso at the end of the day, and that almost cost them. Boom, with the finished Diffusal Blade, wants to be more active. And the uh, Puppy will TP back to bottom, hold on to this tower. Lena, Chrysalis continues to farm up. You can uh, already feel the difference. Uh, almost 3,000 network lead, comparing two carries. Sheesh, that is a lot of gold and closing in on the BKB. Thinking about the Rolling Thunder. Familiar is also starting to edge over there as Resolution's gonna TP towards top and Immersion. Oh, he just rolls away. Safe to do so. Jibe, what does he have? Midas queuing up the BKB immediately. 
So he's just trying to find a way to roll in, right? Or not roll in, but run. In. He's not the uh, Earth Spirit, so hard. But he's just trying to run in and get the Doom out, right? Yeah, we've seen different builds on Doom. Mana Boots uh, into, like, BKB Blink Dagger. It slows down your timing, and I think he understands that needs to be, like, active a couple of minutes earlier than he would uh, expect it to be in those fights. So he's getting it. Uh, try to sync up the BKB maybe on a Batrider, but he's not having that good of a game anymore. That actually now surpassed by all three cores. It still feels like Supreme's in on this one, but his farm's just not there. It, it felt like he probably had to be more aggressive with this and get more kills. And they've only got three here for Into the Breach. He's involved in all three, but the Breach needed more. And I don't know if their lineup's fast enough to catch up, right? Might be difficult. We've seen Helena's lineup just explode. 15, 20 minutes into the game where she gets her third item, gets that BKB online. She starts Ooh, to join broken. the fight. Zayas. There's also two birds, so he can go low ground with the cookie. Yeah, if he, he can get can it can off. get down there. Roll. Now they found themselves resolution. They go to the magnetized boom coming over looking for the rolling thunder. So double damage on Supreme. And the lasso and a resolution is the damage there with the Fade Bolt. They've got the kill. They'll take out the Visage. They'll get themselves one familiar. So a good amount of gold going towards Supreme, which was desperately needed. That fight not really finding itself for Secret, as they were kind of split up on high ground, low ground. Into the Breach will need to get those pick-offs, not engage into a full team fight five and five. Uh, Doom still yet to be used. Jubei has been farming zero, zero, zero on that Doom. You see the spoke damage. Kisses. Kisses will commit. Kadaro should die here, especially with the bird providing vision. Immersion coming over with Jibe, but this is tough. It's a tough commit. It's a lot of, like, I, I don't think they're going to be able to get much value out of Doom. So you have Rolling Thunder to disengage the birds, full Guardian Greaves, Living Armor is maxed out. Uh, so this level one Doom doesn't deal that much damage. Jibe does have a BKB, but uh, I'm not sure if they have enough to take this fight. There's going to be a rotation from Rubik as well. Guardian Greaves used, and if they want to go, they have to roll. They're going to go forward. They'll find themselves resolution. They'll go to the haunt. Now they've used the Doom. It's on the Visage, but the Overgrowth comes in. It's on a three of these heroes. And Mortimer's Kisses from Kadaro, and those are dropped down to get the kill in a resolution. The BKBs run out on Jibe. Zayats will use that cookie to get back out of the high ground on his side of the river, and all they get out of all of that is the Visage. Feels like that needed to be a lot more. As Emergent just rolls away. Boom, doesn't block him. Uh, a lot of commitment from Into the Breach to just get that one kill. But they do save the tower for now. Tower sitting at uh, 100 HP. This should open up the, the Roche as well for Team Secret. They do have enough damage, like Cookie with the Shard. Then you have Pangolier, the Fusel Blade. They were thinking about it. Someone pinged it. Nature's Grass, Cookie, and Kajaro. He's very dead. Boom, getting himself on a killing spree. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Crystalis has that BKB ready to go, so they can f play aggressive. They could go for Roche. I think, you know, the map's their oyster. They wanted to kill the tier one tower first, and now maybe they're going to respect the, the damage that Into the Breach can bring. But definitely, Team Secret's lineup doesn't care as much to fight with uh, some of the ultis being on cooldown compared to Into the Breach. They need that haunt, they need Lasso and Doom to take a fight. Yeah, so another minute till they'll have Doom back up. They're trying to get the Blink Dagger on Jibe. So with that BKB, he should have a way in. He's still holding on to Hurricane, though. See if he changes that to the War Stomp. If you can find it. I always get surprised by that ability. <laughs> Hurricane? It's a, yeah, it's a fun one. I like the change see anything I'll give him hurricane or uh war stop yeah okay so if he can grab it maybe he'll switch to that especially if you want that with the blink dagger blink dagger is gonna fly out of the curve so what's coming up next you've got specter looking for ags so that'll bring in the shadow step which is to pick off these supports but it's not like these supports are really that 
They're weak. not that easy to kill. Yeah. You have Treant that uh, can't hide in the trees, uh, has overgrowth, potentially TP out, Snapfire with the cookie, and this time they've seen the whole squad off into the breach with that Observer Ward and will use it to go inside Roche Pit. Dire, they know something is up. Scan connected, but Team Secret will take it. This feels... I mean, free for sure, but... Kind of troublesome for Into the Breach. They're, they're not able to react to what Secret's doing. They don't really have the power to do so. They're already Happy. losing their vision in the jungle. We'll de ward it. And the, there's also another ward that just scouted Jibe and the rest of the team. So there's still smoke. Secret will definitely love to take that fight. Lands all the way on an immersion. Rolling Thunder in the blink. Looking towards Jibe as they get the kill on an immersion. They'll steal a shield crash. And they catch up to him. Swashbuckle. Nothing really to go forward with. But they do get that kill. That was really well done there by uh, by Zayats and uh, Resolution. That's a combo of players that a lot of people have talked about coming into this season. And they looked really good during the TI this uh, time around. They struggled. The whole squad is struggling. But seems like this game, Team Secret, uh, playing uh, much more crisp compared to the other ones. Cookie again, Supreme, caught, swashbuckled, and, well, left to live. They saw the BKB maybe try to force it. The panic BKB. Gotta always make sure it works. Always a good one. So, Odegaard is a thousand gold away here from getting that Ags and having that Shadow Step. Blink Dagger's next for Supreme, so they'll have the double Blink to try and initiate with, and Kadaro's gonna go to the shard, so he wants that upgraded telekinesis. Does have it, so this is gonna be their way of uh, saving people. They don't have that tankiness, like they don't have the aura builder this time around compared to Visage, who already has Guardian Greaves, has drums, building into pipe next. Uh, Visage feels like the utility builder that oh, secret are working with and uh, sustaining with in these fights. I'm not really sure what you're meant to do if you're into the breach. It's a, it's a tough one. We but haven't seen the full five on five. There was a attempt to it on a mid lane where Team Secret siege the tower. But this one, this tier two tower belongs to Secret. Yep, and the Glyph will slow this push down, but Crystalis really not afraid with the familiars in front of her to just push this tower without creeps. Tower damage for the Lina already at 3,500 and... What a hero. Has everything. Magical, physical, tower damage, scaling, burst. With Farm, what, what, yeah. whatever you want. And she also found the Grobo for herself, because why not? Dyer's Every Lina game. Four man smoke from into the breach. They pick up a haste on Supreme. They're gonna jump forward. They've got the haunt. They're gonna look here for Puppy. Puppy with a cookie to try and run away. Goes through the overgrowth. That's on a three of these heroes. They try to get in front of Immersion who rolls away. Puppy's gonna be the first one to fall. Supreme with the BKB gets the lasso on a resolution. So pulling him back towards the side of into the breach with the BKB be popped by Jibe. They go to the Mortimer's kisses and these are thrown out on a Kadaro. So they get the kill there onto the Rubik. Boom, moving forward, has the swashbuckle and disarms Supreme. But with that haste, he's able to run away at speeds greater than Secret can chase. Again, only two people dying in these uh, like last uh, two team fights. Uh, they don't even take the Aegis. Uh, Into the Breach needs to heavily commit. There was a Haunt, uh, Lasso as well. Doom this time around, Jibe couldn't find the right target. He would definitely love to go on Visage. Uh, like, Lina does have a full Linkage right now, so that's going to be an issue. Wow. Found that Lincoln's really quickly, and it's Satanic. I, I assume Silver Edge afterwards coming out. I mean, I mean, if you buy Lincoln Sphere on Lina, it's a Lina Linakin Sphere. We can call it that way. It works. Yeah, expected it to be picked up more, but uh, let's see if they can time it. 40 seconds. Immersion has been doing really well after the laning stage where he goes in, gets a big magnetize, uh, gets round of his spells and the spirit Rolling vessel. Rolling Thunder, all oh, bouncing two into the air, and now they've got Supreme. 
Just an easy kill. Swashbuckle still trying to stick with Kadaro, who steals the swashbuckle of his own. Immersion with the roll in, but that's a problem because Puppy's here with the, the root. team is not there. They did not follow. No. They were not immersed in that fight at all. So, Crystalis gets his Lincolns popped again. They'll go to the haunt. EKB, though, the Doom afterwards. Overgrowth onto the Spectre as well as Jibe. Jibe taking a lot of damage here from the Lino, but doesn't want to step too far forward knowing now, well, that Aegis is gone. So the regen properties of it don't really get to help out. I like my Lino. analysis there after like, hmm, just a hmm after that Doom <laughs> is being used. Team Secret has a very good way of disengaging the fights with just Birds, Cookie, Force Staff, uh, Rolling Thunder, Overgrowth. There's so many things. And uh, looking at the Dota plus 86% against only 14 on Into the Breach. That's that Spectre extra, I feel like. If this was any other hero other than Spectre, it would be probably one digit. Yeah, I would agree with that. I, I think Dota plus has like a, a bit of a thing for Spectre. You said Sand King as well, like a week ago. A couple of heroes that... Alter the percentages. So Manta next for the Spectre, who now has the eggs with the Shadow Step. But I don't know if that Shadow Step's really going to be as effective anymore. You're looking to use this axe to jump in these heroes, and when we were talking about it being built initially, we were saying that these supports are too tanky already, too strong all already in that point of the game. Now you've got it, and they've only gotten stronger. It, it doesn't feel like it's a good game for that Aghanim Scepter, where you're, like, not picking people off uh, would maybe prefer Manta style here over that Axe because you are playing into Treant, uh, you can get out of the trouble, you can remove this arm Breaking from Bangalier. Boulder Smash, Rolling Thunder coming out from Boom, hitting on the two heroes, Immersion's gone now. Can Kadaro get himself out? He tried to tell Kinesis and throw himself away. He's also got the Tumblr's toy to get under the low ground. Does have a stolen overgrowth. Might get away, but Crystalis LSA. finds him. Yeah, yeah. we talked about Crystalis, how he plays much better when he is staying ahead, and staying ahead doubles the net worth of the enemy carry this time around. 18,000. Yeah, level 18. I didn't realize Spectre was at the bottom of his own team. Odegaard struggling. By the way, Boom, he's also got this Axe finished in 100 gold. He chose to take the minus, or the three second shield crash cooldown in ball. With that upgrade with the Ags, gonna be a pretty disgusting combo. I like how it's called in ball. Level 15 talent. Like not it's enough, called rolling thunder. Not enough space. <laughs> Just in ball. I wonder if we it's yeah, if you're a new player and you start reading these things like ball and you try to figure out what the ball is. I, I Yeah. I mean he might he kinda yeah. He, he's in a ball form. I wonder if it says ball form on him when he goes into the Rolling Thunder. Like, you know, how, uh, like an aura. Just says ball form. I'm going to take a look. Next time he uses Rolling Thunder. Rosh up in a minute 50, by the way. And there's the roll in from Immersion. That's also a ball form. They're going to go in with a haunt. And it's actually just the Shadow Step for the moment. Now it's the Haunt, but the Rolling Thunder on the back line. They've got the Doom. It's going to be on the Pangolier. They get the kill on the Zayats. They'll take out the Snap Fire. But they lose Immersion. Overgrowth used. Shots coming in on the Supreme. He can't move. And the LSA with, with the BKB. It's not going to be long enough. And now the Laguna Boy, they get the kill on the Odeker. So Doom was used on a Boom, and he is going to survive. I think Rezo even hit him once just to maybe get the deny. And there's the tip for it. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how he chose the target for it. Uh, check the names. Who should I doom? Puppy? Nah, doesn't sound like it. Zayats? Nah. What about Boom? It rhymes with Doom. I'm gonna go with that one. I mean, Rolling Thunder, uh, he uses it, it with the Arcane Rune, gets a couple of uh, shield crashes off, damage has already been done, and then he gets Doom, gets away, because there's uh, this aura from the Guardian Greaves as well. A bit of a difficult one into the breach. They need to heavily commit, so now the all three big ultis are on cooldown. Team Secret, they're gonna get some damage done on the tier three tower. Oh, go back in, kill it. This is lining up for Roche too, so that'll be a shard for whomever wants it, and uh, maybe go over to Boom, put him in the roll up, ball. And, uh, and he wants that basher. 
So, is this satanic? Yeah, it is satanic coming out for the Lina. This is where you don't care about the blade mail anymore against Spectre. If you get satanic off uh, during the Doom, uh, you're still going to get... I, I don't think he's going to be the target of the Doom anyway. Like, they need to find a better initiation. And uh, Looking at the GPM, 700 on Lina compared to below 400 on Spectre. Yeah, Spectre only slightly ahead of Zayats on this uh, Snapfire, who's going for Lotus Orb next. Yeah, you pop that on Lina with the Lotus and Lincolns, you know that she's not getting doomed or lassoed. Could reflect the doom back if uh, they're not too keen on uh, seeing it. Especially if you throw it on Boom. Boom rhymes with Doom, like you said, and I feel like Lotus Orb there, Doom dooms himself. And then goes Boom. And inside the Roche Pit, Crystalis uh, will pick up that Aegis. Uh, picked up the Shard as well. He's gonna pass it? Does Visage, uh, Visage has a Shard of his own, so does Tree. Like, everyone has a Shard, so he's gonna pick it up. Oh, Odeker, that's problematic. He's up on the high ground, but that's not safety. And now Telekinesis Kadaro throwing himself down to the low ground and will use the Tumbler's toy again to get some space. But Puppy's here. Swashbuckle misses, but they've got the Diffusal Blade to slow him down and get a second. So using that inhibit active on the Diffusal and that helps him get the kill. Let's see how Into the Breach is going to defend the high ground. Uh, there is Spectre, because she's uh, level 16, will be available for the next fight. Uh, Lasso as well, Blink Dagger, Psychic Headband is there, some extra cast range. They need to pull people underneath the tier 4 towers. This set of barracks looks uh, very done. Do they just shift towards top? Uh, so where's the good. lane at? The uh, lane's uh, not there. The creeps are going to take a long time until they get there. So it's just going to be Crystalis TPing and pushing out the wave. rest of the team will connect there in, what, 30 seconds. And now going for the full Gleipnir. This Lina is a mean ma machine gun right now. Yeah, just shooting off shots and pushing into the breach away. They haven't had an answer for this Lina. And, you know, this is really the first game that we've felt like Crystalis really hasn't had much trouble in a game. He started off really well, and I think that this... It's a little late in the season, but a game like this can give you your, your mental back. It's never too late to stay in Division 1. Yes. So, they smoke is four, is... Well, Zayat's is here, but Puppy's bottom. So they've got one support with them. Daro's in the jungle, they're cutting across the triangle, and Puppy just kind of waiting, hoping to find somebody. Holding onto a gem, and it might be Kadaro who they get to, but a four staff and a telekinesis. He'll throw himself deep into the trees and got Shadow step used on Puppy. And then oh, Rolling Thunder, roll up. And they've got a cookie, a stolen, stolen cookie, cookie to get him away. But Jimmy, is that going to be far enough? BKB, telekinesis from Kadaro to throw him back. Doing a lot here, uh, Kadaro, to save Jibe on that Doom. That Team Secret uh, doesn't commit uh, too heavily to it. Like, th this Visage, man, uh, Resolution has had a really good one this game. Going into Hex next, which is going to be available in 2,000 gold. So, next two, three minutes. Double damage, and I expect the bottle to be passed over, and it will be to Crystalis. So, he's got the Glape near. He's going to have a double damage ready to go. Uh, at will. And now that Basher is there for Boom. This tier 2 is dead. Nobody going to come to defend it. Trying to have Odeker farm as much as he can into the enemy's triangle, but he's still looking for the Manta. Look at where he is in the net worth. It's just a, a desperate game for Spectre. Yeah, like you said, Zayats is uh, catching up, and now Lina with the double damage, uh, Lotus Orb, Lincoln Sphere, Drums Pop, plus Aegis. They will force a Glyph, and she can do the same thing in the next 15 seconds again. With the Rubik on the other side, keeping the Dragon Slave at level 1. It's been there even though he's level 22. So refusing to up it at all. And, uh, well, we'll take up the tower. Now get the Glavenir onto Kadaro. 
Blink in, there's the Infernal Blade, but reflects the Doom, it's not quick enough! Overgrowth comes in, they get the Kona Jimmy, they're gonna buy back on the Doom, but look at this Rolling Thunder with the upgrade from the Ags, they get the Kona Immersion, they'll take it a second, the Cookie, it lands on a Supreme, they've got themselves three, make it a fourth, they'll look over at Kadaro, full team wipe, they're taking out these heroes multiple times over and over again! Yeah, this it's Lina a triple kill, double Satanic. kill, everything going on, Satanic's available with the LSA as well as the Laguna Blade, give Crystalis the Rampage! Gets the Glaive to land on an Odeker, they've got the Swashbuckle, that disarms the Spectre, they'll call GG, but the LSA, the right quick damage, Rampage for Crystalis, and can he the double? No, he cannot. It's Puppy with the kill. The GG call. Secret take game one in a big, big mental builder of a first one. Yeah, they buffed up Crystalis in this one. They made him dataless pretty much.